World's coming to an end. What better time to play some more Mega Man? Oh boy. Time for Slash Man. And he's gonna do everything he can to make sure I don't beat this game. Is he gonna be the first one that forces me to use Robot Master weapons inside the original fight, excluding for really hilarious insta kills? Hopefully not. So now we wait for the logs. Wait for them again, and moving on. So, hey! How about a special cameo appearance from uh, Mario being... It's a Yoshi! Robot Yoshi to be exact, but now nah, I don't know what its real name is. So I just called it Yoshi. Does the same thing. Takes you places normally you can't get to. Walks on spikes. You throw it into pits so you can jump higher. Yeah, sounds like a typical Yoshi. That's not our stop, so we need to move on. No, our stop is right here. E-Tank Get. Hi, Joe, you're stupid. Bonk. Bye, T Rex, you're stupid. So, remember what Proto Man was talking about back at the, you know, way back in Cloud Man stage? Time to actually deal with that. Specifically, we need to burn this tree. And either get the Super Adapter or Rush Coil ready. Switch back to normal Mega Man. Charge shot ready, and hi, Beat. You're still dumb. So, yeah, Slash Man time. Slash Man. He's pretty much everything that you're going to hate. His main strategy is the slow hops forward. He also does this weird sludge attack, which basically means you're you're gonna take hits. His slash reflects bullets, which is very annoying. And yep. Basically, getting a charge shot on this guy is a feat in itself. Gonna go over, use an E-Tank. Yeah, if I use all of my E-Tanks here, I will not be surprised. This guy is a mess to deal with. So, you on... Just when I'm about to fight you. Nope, sludge on your head. Deal with it. And on my feet. Emergency E tank. I'm pretty sure him landing on my face is going to hurt. What am I doing? Dying. That's what I'm doing. Perfect. I'm gonna die to Slash Man. Jeez. 
Oh, good. More sludge, because clearly I haven't had enough. Alright, one more round should do the trick, unless this happens. Yeah, this is gonna happen. Goodbye, stay dead. Hate you so much. Sure thing, Mega Man. That's about it. It slashes things. Who would have thought we'd get a melee weapon from Slash Man? Base, I said no parties. Stupid jerk, I told you. No parties. Oh no, me being collapsed in pain makes me unable to see my own son in front of me. You mean the parts that I already have. Okay. I can't believe I'm an idiot. And I should have seen this coming a mile away. It's not like he was lying to begin with. I mean, seriously, I fought Wily while you were gone. You mean during the six months he was in prison. Sounds legit. Oh, you mean the enhancements I'm already using? Yeah. Good plan, Wily. I already got them. You're a little slow. <laughs> You're just copying it. So yeah, Dr. Wily's stage is now open, but we still got some things to do. Specifically, if we press, press select here, we get to go see a giant eddy. Oh man, look at that eddy. We have 466 bolts, that's pretty cool. We also found Otto's bolt that belongs to him that, for some strange reason, Springman had. Okay. Now we can get things half off. And we can now buy a new item. Cool stuff, Otto. So, the new item we can now buy from Otto is the Hyper Rocket Buster. We already found that in a Turbo Man stage. You can also get the Energy Balancer if you didn't get that in Shade Man stage. Rush Search if you didn't get that in Freeze Man stage. Rush Jet if you didn't get it in a Junk Man stage. An S tank. Well, we'll buy this. Beat, if you didn't bother to rescue him in Slash Man stage. The exit module, if you didn't get that in Freeze Man stage. W tanks and E tanks. We're gonna max those two out. You can only carry four of each, so... Yes, yes, I know I can't carry more of that. Let me move over to E-Tanks. I want to buy those. You can also buy extra lives, but, but I'm already maxed out on that. Slash Man just made me use all my E-Tanks, so I'm going to get those back.
Perfect. Next up, we gotta go back to Shade Man stage. I'm not gonna cut out the footage this time, simply because we actually have Shade Man's original music, not the Ghost and Goblins reference music, so... Yeah, let's actually use this music, since we're not gonna hear it again. Besides, it's good music. Shade Man's is probably my favorite theme from this game. Oh look, useless bolts. That's right, all those silly bolts that I have been collecting that I've basically been neglecting to talk about, that's what they're used for. Buying things from Otto. Who is dumb. Both. Besides, we're almost to the point where I need to be anyway, so let's just keep going. Where I want to be is right up ahead. Back at Von Pukin, the giant pumpkin mini-boss. Slide, 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 and in we go. This time, we need to take out the inner shell. Of course, this means I'm going to have a harder time hitting it. Well, oh, whatever. Okay, yeah, that's just not working. Oh, I can't fight Van Pukin. I'm hilarious. There we go, now you're dead. Open. Where we want to go is right back there. Right behind that Joe is a hidden wall. With a boss door. Who could it be? Meet Proto Man. Wait a second, we've already seen Proto Man three times in this game now. Uh. Oh, boss music is playing. Uh huh. See, here's the thing. If you see Proto Man in the order that I've shown Cloud Man, Turbo Man, and now here, you get to fight Proto Man here. You have to do this one last because, well, let's face it, he's just not going to show up here. Unless you do it. Why did I summon Rush? <laughs> My charge shot's better. Now oh, you do a quick charge. Yeah, well, my charge shot's better to begin with, so eat in your face, poor man. To slide how I don't need to use it just yet. Now I need to use it because I am dumb. Basically, if you can have a charge shot ready every time he does something, you can take him out of whatever he's doing. Or you can just be like me, tank every possible hit. Okay, proto end fight is over. You are the superior one, because I was built after you. Here, take my shield, because pff, I don't want to be in this game anymore. Take the shield, and watch your back, because I'll come and fight you again, because I got nothing better to do. No, no he won't. Proto-Man will 
go sit on his perch till the next game. So, Proto Shield get. What does the Proto Shield do? Eh. When you're standing still, you'll guard shots. That's a nice sound when you do block something. That's pretty cool. Otherwise, it's kind of pathetic. Can't use it while jumping. You can't use it while running. At least you can slide while using it, but other than that, it's kind of not a good weapon. Item. It's not a weapon. Light the torches in this room so you can freaking see. You can also use the Thunderbolt or charge shots to briefly light up the room. Otherwise, yeah, let's just move on. Specifically, let's go ahead and demonstrate Slash Claw. Slice, slice. This is really all it does. I'm not kidding. This is this is it. Yeah, slicing zombies. All right. Moving on. Oh look. Base isn't here. I'm disappointed. I don't even care about going to see Slash Man. Shade Man, yes. Whatever. And since I used them, I'm going to skip the giant eddy. Select the item you want. How about those E tanks back? Because. I'm stupid. Yes, that's exactly why I want them back. Okay, fine, we'll play your way, Otto. Thank you. Yeah, so next time, full and proper Dr. Wily. Alright, so yeah, end game, let's go. What's gonna be interesting about this end game is, like Mega Man X, we get access to the shop in between every, well, access to the stage select menu every time we beat a stage here. What this means is, if you really need to, you can go back to Auto Shop and rebuy items. Something I might consider doing. Of course, I'm just not going to care too much and just rush through with Thunderbolt. No, no up-down enemy. There we go. There's the up-down enemy I was looking for. Ah, this part. Yeah, you know that super adapter that I've been horribly breaking the game with? Please use it here. Just, just, word of advice, use it here. It will help so much if you actually used it here. Uh, life or life? How about life? Stupid enemy. Alright, so let's move on. Rush get. Yeah, this, it's not difficult to go through this, it's just annoying, because every time you stand on a platform, for the most part, the lights go out. Let's see how this gets annoying to deal with. Hmm. 
most of the platforms. There are a select few in which it doesn't do that, but... That was going to be close and stupid. Whoa, that was just what I was looking for for close and stupid. Again. Let's throw this again. Thank you. Fourth time's the charm? Fourth time is the charm. No, it's not. <sighs> Mega Man, climb the freaking ladder. Thank you. Do I have full E tanks? I'm pretty sure I do. I do. Don't care. Keep super adapter. Hi, base. How's it going? That's great. Perfect. So, base. Uh. There's a couple ways you can fight this. You can fight him using Buster, you can fight him using anything you want, or you could do this and just punch him in the face with the upgrades he stole from you. Yeah. Cool. See ya. He'll be back later. So, yeah. Are we forgetting anything else from this game? Oh, right, Gutsman. Right, Dr. Wily stole him. Let's go ahead and take care of that now, shall we? The trick here is not to get grabbed, but I guess we really don't have a choice, now do we? Is also to kick the rocks he drops from the ceiling back at him. Otherwise, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty simple fight. This is for all the pain and suffering you caused in Mega Man 1. Oh, I'm out of Slash Club. Righto. So yeah, as I said, if you really want to, go back and buy items from Otto. I'm already full on everything, so I'm not going to.